Ladies and gentlemen, let us create vector ground circles. One will look like this, it is from paint splatter. The other looks like this, it is from brush strokes. Here we are in Inkscape. The one from brush strokes is already here and I need to import the second one so I can work on the two at the same time. So I need to go to file, then import to get it from my device. The two files, they are PNGs, I created them to be mine and I'm giving the two out for you free of charge so you can download them. Go to the link in the description below and get the link there to download the two. Here they are raster files, you can see we cannot alter the colors, we cannot change the colors of either of the two, that's because they are uh, PNGs, the same if it is uh, JPEG. So we need to convert this to vector, right click, then trace bitmap. Now leaving all this as default, update to preview it, here is it, it's ok, then apply. Now we have the vector now, this is the vector, we do the same for the second one. Now we don't need the trace bitmap anymore, we take that away and also take the original files away delete all right now we have the vectors to work with now click on the first one I will give it white the second one I give it this blue the color does not actually matter it can be any color click on the first one and click again to have the rotation corner edge pick one of the rotation corner and keep it flat like this click again to have the regular arrow here and use this arrow to make it slim slim like this something like this is good then I do the same thing for the blue then I click again and use the middle arrow to make it slim Now I go to the first one and I right click to copy, you can use Ctrl C or your Command C, copy, then pick this file that says draw freehand lines. Once you click on that you have this option here, then select this curvy one, then go to smoothing, the smoothing should be 5050, then for shape, select the shape, let it be set to bend from clipboard. And for the scale, the scale should be 1, 1, press enter key there. Now draw a big circle, it doesn't matter how perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect, automatically it will fix itself. Go to the starting point and it's done. You can actually alter the size, you can alter the size make it thick or thin, make it increase the width or the size of this. To do that, you can just click on the node selector. Once you click on the node selector, you have this node here. Let me zoom for you to see this node here. So pick on this node and play around that to adjust the size of the ground we just created. So for me, I think this is okay now, something like this. So for the second one, I pick the selection tool to select it. Then right click to copy, it's already on the clipboard. So I pick this tool, draw freehand line, then everything is okay there except the scale. The scale has changed, so I need to put it back to one. Then I draw my circle. back to the starting point and it's done and to alter that to adjust the size I pick the node selector here yes then I pick this node to adjust the thickness of the grunge here's the result you may want to see my videos on all this
All these and many more are already in the description below. Please check them out. It would be good if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. That is, you like this video, please. All these really do help. And as I always do, thank you for watching.